we'll try one more time. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Bank 60s here, feeling especially goofy. Wading once more into the fray. That is Norpsoft Dev, Scourge of War, Waterloo. Favorite game of mine, 19th century warfare at its best on a beautiful and wonderful digital platform. Thank you, Norbsoft Dev, once again. And uh, thank you, viewer, for taking the time. If you are enjoying the videos, of course, click the thumbs up, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification. And let's jump back into the Battle of Ligny, playing as the French, uh, and have run into a bit of an issue. Uh, raise high the black flag, my children. No pity. Blucher. And that's exactly what uh, maybe happened here uh, to the French. I'm going to bring up the map for starters. Uh, we're going to pause just to make sure everyone is up to date. All right, so... Okay, uh, the Peace Shoes Division, I believe it is, 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 uh, under threat in a real way. We have some reserves here. We have reinforcements coming forward here. shift some artillery over, but frankly, I am tempted to retreat all of these troops right now and begin drawing the Prussians into uh, overextending themselves in this direction. Uh, perhaps bottle them up with my infantry units in lieu of uh, what is to come, which will be this cavalry right here on its way. One division, I believe it is, that I moved uh, over to assist. And honestly, um, if you are watching these videos back to back you'll know um, I'm not playing this back to back so I'm reminding myself as well as those viewers who weren't watching consecutive videos of this battle that I didn't bring that cavalry over with the intention of thwarting a breakthrough here <laughs> it just so happens that uh, they're gonna be helpful in that regard uh, but until then, like I say, it's really going to be best to just clear the way for these Prussians. So we'll start with our leader. We'll come back this direction. These guys are going to head out. These guys are going to head out. Bye-bye. See y'all. We out of here. We don't want to mess with this no more unit here. I do not understand like what happens when the uh, units kind of get caught doing this. It's really, really weird. They're supposed to be going back here, but he's moving in this direction. It's odd. Alright, Schaefer's Brigade. We're going to see if we can reform him back in this direction. We'll see if we'll bring everybody back over in line. units over here? Uh, I told him to take everyone off take command. But these, oh, it's because they're retreating. That's fine. These guys need to uh, double click. As a matter of fact, uh, they really should just... Oh, I don't have
have the option to just run now. Unfortunately. But let's bring Schaefer's brigade. Let's try to bring him back again. Come on. There we go. We got this unit back in the fold. These guys can stop double time. I think they might have stopped. I think they stopped on their own. These guys are gonna continue to fall back. We've got the left that we can bring back here. Okay, we're driving off the Prussians on this side. That's the good news. We've got ourselves some reinforcements set up. We're in a position right now where we could counter, we could allow the Prussians to advance through this hole in our line. And then hit him with the cavalry coming up. But we could also just bottle him up right here. We probably should. And I think that's what we'll go ahead and do. They're going to push over here on this battalion out here on the left. I'll tell you what, I should go ahead. I'll retreat him a little further. pushed us out of the church. We need to remedy that for sure. We'll put a couple of battalions. And I think Corsa needs to come over here. Uh, this battalion. Bilar. We don't have much left of him. I wonder if I could Still got this gun that we could set up. This gun could set up right here. Double time it, boys. Maybe you got some cannon. Oh, you don't need to. There's this ammo wagon here, though. We could load them up with some canister and uh, maybe get gulps, boys. Send out. We're gonna have more skirmishers than the line unit. Uh, than the line unit. This is kind of fun. Send these skirmishers out. Um, these guys, all the rest of these guys. Attach. Let's not get too involved over here, by the way. I just needed to uh, shore up a couple of things. Schaefer's brigade is not holding strong much at all. Uh, man, oh man! Fall back. As a matter of fact, the Russians have launched a uh, very, very determined counter strike here. We need to, I think, charge. I'm not sure of it. We need to form up a couple of battalions. And we need to go straight at them. And uh, this needs to be a decisive counterattack by our troops here. We need this. 
this one. Let's bring out some skirmishers over here. We're way out in the open here. We got a unit over here. Stopped all this nonsense over here. And we've got cavalry to come help out. Here we go, boys. Come on over. Come on over, baby. I'm gonna break out a little pop music. I'm gonna break out a little pop music while I fight some Napoleonics. Put Christina Aguilera on your face. You guys need to get out of here. Okay. Uh, have we started to pull over this division? No. Of course not. I'll tell you what, though. They are shooting their wad with this division of theirs. need to turn around. Schaefer's engaged. I need to get him here for him. Oh, boy. Run, 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 run. Oh, we've got Rome's brigade over here fighting hard on the, the left of this situation. I call it this situation. That's what it is. Ooh, ooh, what a bloody scene right here. Where those melees were. Come on out, boys. Come close to my guns. I'm going to go ahead and just let them come if they want to come. Uh, where are they? There my guns are. Yeah, they're out in the open, and my guns are probably hammering away at them right now. I got a feeling like this Prussian advance is going to be about spin. I got my cavalry coming up. I got these guns over here. We've got two cavalry brigades over here that help out. Fresh brigades here and here. All right, we're doing a little better. We're down in points, though. That's not good. That's not what we want. And we 
have a uh, crush and annoyance over here. All right, so the attack on the uh, the right, which isn't going nearly as planned. Uh, I intended to try to pull some troops. I did, uh, but I was hoping to pull more. But in any event, it's time to begin the advance over here. So we will go ahead and we're going to have everybody uh, step off. We're going to start on the inside. This division, we're literally just going to come up the whole division. We'll make sure that we've got the artillery under take charge so that we don't move it. forward. And then same thing here. Or actually, one thing I do need to do before I get too much further here. Where was my division commander? Here it is. Stop. And then this fella he will support that advance on the left coming up this direction behind them this artillery and it's going to set up kind of near here it'll just be a huge artillery park right there we'll be able to hit that fort Behind this advance, we'll bring Milhaud, and he'll come up. Uh, we'll go ahead and just, he can kind of intermingle with the uh, battery, I would say. I'll tell you what. Milhaud's cavalry goes forward. Uh, we'll bring these guys forward here. I do believe this is the guard cav. The guard cav can come forward here. And come there. cavalry that we brought up is attacking targets of opportunity. Alright, 
so they're spending their uh, their shot uh, over here, kind of, uh, and kind of leaving and leave me uh, undefended behind them. All we need to do right now is come forward now with cavalry superiority that we have and get these squares out of here. Part of that formula, of course, is going to be grabbing these guns right here, and we're going to just bring them forward. Oh, my cab is uh, trying to break up their square. Getting themselves killed over here. Now, it's funny how they the cab will charge it sometimes. I don't know why they're doing it, though, in this case. It's a little frustrating right there. Hey, doing it again? Or no, that's just all the dead horses that are there. Sheesh. Alright, get out of there. Get out of there. Yeah, look at all that. All right, guys, I think we've done enough for one day. I guess, already. Sheesh. All right, now we got them stopped in a square. Uh, we've got two fresh brigades over here on the right that could push into Ligny and... And, uh, you know, at this point, we're not really worried too much about it. Any other Prussian for? I mean, they're gonna come forward. They're gonna come forward, I guess, to react. But they're not doing that right now. And I don't like the way these guys are crisscrossing and all that nonsense. But I have to tolerate it. All right, we're moving forward with our cavalry here. Progress, making some progress. We're gonna bring these guys over here on this hill. to not do so well I will be perfectly frank and honest with both you the viewer and myself uh, how do I improve our situation it's a mystery we appear to be doing a little better up here but they got out of square so we're gonna have to uh Put them back. And this uh, this Prussian unit, this Prussian division of troops is uh, really stubborn in their uh, their attack here. They are not slowing down. They're not giving up. And they are coming for blood. We need to do the same. Oh no, that's not what I want. That cavalry. This Prussian unit that came forward, they are really uh, overstretching themselves. I love charging the skirmishers a lot of the time because the units behind them get caught in their non square formation. Let's see how this goes. Now 
one we brought some artillery forward. I have a feeling, a good feeling about uh, the way this is going to go over here on this side of the field from here on. Got a bunch of Prussian Okay, here we go. Oh, see, they're still trying to go and catch those skirmishers. Here we go. We're sending these guys packing now. All right. A little, a little domino effect route. But we're not killing very many guys. That's the uh, disappointing part of this whole situation. That canister. Listen to that canister, will you? What are these guys? Got a, a mob of skirmishers over here. Good thing I got 87 well-trained cavalrymen. Ready to make minced meat of them. Charging. These guys are retreating. Probably have to retreat a little more. It's what I would suggest. I could uh, mount an advance against me over here. If I really want to. a thousand points. I can use the points right now. There's no doubt about it. Now here's, this, here's a little frustrating thing. Oh, it's because they're so tired. Got it. These guys can come over here, though. this guy so we will just uh, run some guys up in there uh, the rest of the division we'll go we'll split it out by brigade now these guys are gonna come out in this direction here we'll stay in our double line Attached. Arrive first. Darn it. These guys are going to. Uh, I think they're going to go ahead and grab hold of the river. We'll use that road right there. And we'll just we'll go ahead and cross uh, since the Prussians are gonna let us use the road. Boom. Use same thing. Use the road. Boom. And this is whose brigade? Piat's Brigade. We'll leave a reserve battalion back here. Piat can go ahead and get set up there. But we'll have that on our left. And these guys can be kind of a reserve act either this way or this way. What we will do, I think, though, is bring them back into these bushes. Lay these 
these guys down, give them some cover. Okay, these guys are going to get bombed, so uh, it'd be best to bring them back. These guys are getting bombed. That's what those guns are shooting at. Tell you what, maintaining this situation right here with all of these units just getting uh, uh, bombed on like this, yeah, gosh, it's a little aggravating. I can't lie. There are still Prussian troops in the uh, in range of got this situation over here with this random Prussian unit. We should probably lose those guys. Yeah, we'll just move up here. Move the leader forward. These guys have artillery right here. I mean, they gotta be getting killed. These guys can form whatever they want. Boy, they sure don't have much for us over here right now. That is the truth. So, uh, we're not gonna mess around. We're just going to come over here and take the objective. So, uh, the rest of 3rd Corps is uh, making easy work of this advance over here. And we're now in a position, I think, where we can start to bring artillery even further forward in a position where they are going to really help us out. Alright, so artillery covering all of this is what we want. So let's bring batteries around here from the reserve. battery. We're going to go here. We may be getting a little overly creative here. You can criticize me in the comments if you wish. Uh, this hill over here, we need to put some guns on. That's going to be uh, maybe a complication in terms of the supply train being a bit overstretched, but we're going to we're going to take that risk. cab right there looks like yeah that's a good spot we just need to change it up just a tad that's a good spot all right now we've attracted I think some attention yeah a lot of attention 
Ooh boy. Okay. Next phase of the battle begins on the left. And it's going to be a fight. We need to pause and prepare ourselves. This is going to be heavy action on the left. We're going to need e literally everything that we've got. The artillery will be well positioned. We have the guard cav here on the left. The extreme left with the light cav here. Boy, it's going to be a scrum. I bet you. I bet you we go ahead and let them come at us. Right here. Are they off in this direction? No. Nah, that's the... Okay. They're really coming more over here. Coming right at this area here. So... I suppose it's worth it to try and hold on as best we can here, but I just don't see a point in that. Um, when we might be better off just holding these woods, this fortress, this area over here, kind of in this town right here on the hill yeah I see a defensive line we've got our guns coming up we could probably stop them here form up on these trees with these guys the problem is, is that we do want to leave them there long enough to take that objective and then quite honestly we'll <laughs> I, I mean it'll be really really tempting to to send at least some troops over this direction I don't know maybe two three battalions on a mission to go grab that objective I mean I won't be able to hold it uh, so I mean it would be a little gamey and unrealistic to to go take it but that could be an option I, I get it you know but really I mean protecting the integrity of our line with what's coming that's one two three four four infantry divisions coming against my two infantry divisions one two three four the rest I mean the rest of second corps the rest of first corps the rest of, actually this division of first corps looks like it's not moved interesting hmm but the rest of second corps is coming and then here is this division off on the Prussian left that is coming that was up here at Nummer Road where I'm hoping to get to boy oh boy I'm wondering if we play see we're playing a, maybe a battle of attrition over here now um, I mean we're down on points right now but not by a ton. Uh, minus 327. Um, so, what would be to our benefit as opposed to holding on to the St. Amon Lahai objective? And granted, look, here's one thing I just want to admit and that I know about what's going on with, with this situation. I have access to information that 
commanders of the time would not have had access to. Uh, and so, uh, that that is true. Now, at the same time, you could make the argument. There are, how many? 53,193 pairs of eyeballs on my side of this fight. And they are, and there are spies in the Prussian army. Uh, there's all kinds of information floating around out there that I think uh, if you were, in, you know, if I were in Napoleon's position, I would have had a general idea about troop movements on the other side. So I suspend some disbelief when it comes to all that. I just wanted to address that for the record, I suppose you might say. But in general, I think that uh, we're at 441. We've still got several hours until nightfall. We probably need to go for... We need to go for casualties. I think we need to set up our guns on the left with that defensive line I was talking about. Forget the objective, like, around these trees right here, on this hill, on this hillside, fire it into the guys, uh, the Prussians as they come forward. Maybe hold this fortress. Yeah. Anchor the, the, the line on this fortress. Bring up Cav that can raid artillery here. Bring up Cav and just have it there to fight it. I mean, it, it's going to be in this area right here, all through here. I mean, up. This cavalry, my cavalry, you know, at some point is probably going to go after the, some of those guns. Uh, and so up this direction, all the way through here, this whole area here, this whole area up in here, this whole area here, all of this I am hoping to fill with dead Prussians. That's going to be the task in the next video. And it's so good. I feel so comforted I'll, as I'm sitting here talking about it. I feel comforted that I have all of this cavalry here. Um, that's going to make this fight more fun to watch. Uh, more interesting uh, and um, I don't know I mean the battle is kind of tipped you know it's it's hanging in the balance a little bit right now uh, it's kind of neat and we're gonna just have to see what happens but what I'm gonna what I'm done I I've decided uh, I think I'm gonna bring this division here that I sent toward Wagnerly we're gonna fall back on this little hamlet here and I, I mean, I think I'm literally going to have the guys in the bushes right here with reserves in the, in the little hamlet. We're going to have a battery set up right here. We're going to bring this brigade around these woods right here with, uh, with, uh, We'll see if we can get some guns in there. Uh, yeah, we'll see what we can get in there. Uh, I'll have some troops, probably some skirmishers here. It would be useful. i tell you what, one thing we're going to do, 100% we're going to do, is bring all of this 3rd Corps artillery and make it useful by parking it all right in here and then we're going to protect it with the rest of this division and hopefully and then basically the cavalry is going to be here in the rear we're going to have 
So we're going to have artillery here. we got to figure out where we're putting artillery. So we've got our batteries that are going over here. That's, that's good. Uh, we probably should send over a couple of cav units to guard those when we get them set up. Uh, a battery goes here. Another one goes here. So that takes up the reserve artillery. We got some more here that we can place, but then we'll have a ton up here. We should probably keep some batteries in reserve, including the guard cab battery. This one over here. This, I tell you what, I this horse battery actually I think I'll end up over on the hillside here. And and we'll just let the Prussians come. And we'll we'll just see uh, how well I guess we can stand and fight. Uh, in this defensive line that I've devised here. Uh, there's good defensible terrain here. This fortress... How many... Yeah, that fortress fills up quickly. But all of this to say, we're not going to have a ton of time to implement all of this. So I'm going to be clicking around like crazy when we come back in the next video. When the Battle of Ligny continues, it is a, it is really a slugfest right now. And it's exciting to be uh, sharing it with you. Can't wait for the next installment. We'll save this one. Call it a, uh, a video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, uh, do push the thumbs up button, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you want to get updates on when the next video comes out. Until then, sign our my friends bag 6060s. 60, 60, 60s. 60s. Signing off.